So Andy Dalton made a comment today. Now, we know that uh, Justin Fields is the, the star in the making. Heir apparent, we, right? Yeah, well, you know, we know that when the Bears selected Justin Fields, that's their guy. And that's the guy they need to build around. And that's the guy that everybody wants to see play. Is he ready to play is another story. But everybody wants to see Justin Fields play because we need it now. We want it now. Years ago, many years ago, you select a quarterback, a la Aaron Rodgers. You sit on the bench for a few years. You hold the clipboard. You learn the game. You finally get your opportunity. Uh, not so much today. You grab a guy and you expect him to go in and you expect him to play right now, this very second. And then learn on the job, which I personally do not think is conducive for an NFL team that wants to win. Because you've got a guy learning on the job. And quarterback is the most difficult sport uh, position to play. But nonetheless, people want Justin Fields in. They want him to play. Why would the Bears draft him? Well, they also acquired veteran Andy Dalton. Now, going into camp it was pretty much considered that Andy Dalton was going to be the guy that was going to start. Right. He would and, start, and at some point, Fields would get in, Fred. Right. Right. And, and you know, we'll, we'll ride Andy as long as we can here. If we're out of it in week four, okay, or five, or we don't look very good, now it's time to make the move. But we are a competitive NFL franchise, and we do want to win. And if Andy Dalton can get us there, that's going to be our guy until we decide otherwise. But uh, here's what Andy Dalton had to say today. He said, look, I think Justin Fields is a terrific young man, and I think he's going to have a very good career. I think we have the sound, Fred. I think we do. Before we hit it. Okay. But you know what Andy Dalton said? I'm the man. (laughs) This is my job. Now let's hear from Andy Dalton. I know who I am. I know who I was created to be. I know um, where my identity lies, and so... Do I want the fans behind me and this team and all that kind of stuff? Yes. Do I want them behind Justin? Absolutely, I do. That's not my focus. I can't focus on all that right now. Um, Like I've said before, Justin's going to have his time, and Justin's going to have a great career. But right now, it's it's my time, and so my focus is on being the best player I can be for this team and do everything I can to help this team win. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with saying that? He's absolutely right. What do you think? I, he he showed up to sit? No, I, I get it. I don't think that he has to talk about the other player and tell him when his time is. And that's what I mean, Fred. That's where if you just want to say my focus is about playing, I'm going to be ready to play when they ask me to go out there. I'm going to do all I can. I have something left in this right arm. I can play quarterback here. I'm not concerned about anybody else telling Justin Fields that it's not his time. Says who? Who is Andy Dalton to say when his time is, Fred? Andy if, Dalton. Andy, if Andy Dalton knew when his time was, he'd still be in Cincinnati. Because yeah, his here. clock ran out in Cincinnati. Rob, if I'm Andy Dalton, I'm saying the exact same thing. This is my time. No, you, it's not your time. It is if his it was, time. If it was your time, you wouldn't have a one-year contract. You wouldn't have been jettisoned out of, out of Dallas if this was your time. It's his time for one year. Is that what it is? Hey, he's a competitive athlete, Rob. I don't want to hear him mention Justin Fields. Oh, for I, God's I, sake. I don't want to hear one peep out of Andy Dalton. You're Please, overreacting. show me your playoff resume that says that it's your time. You're a journeyman. You're at the end of the rope. You're at the end of your career. You're fortunate that somebody still wants to pay you to be a starting quarterback in the National Football League. Just come prepared. Be ready to play. Don't tell me whose time it is. Right now, it looks like to me that Andy Dalton can't tell time. What? (laughs) Andy Dalton. (laughs) You said this is the end of his journey. His journey is still ongoing. No. No, Rob, his journey is still ongoing. He can't go in there with the mindset, well, I'm just going to hold down the fort here until uh, they kick me out. I'm just going to go out there and play until either I screw it up so badly they sit me or I get hurt. He's got to go out there. He's an NFL quarterback. He's got to go out there with the belief that he's going to win, that he's going to lead the team. And I don't see anything. It's like, 
don't put your name in my mouth. It's fine. He was asked a question about the fan reaction, and he's absolutely right. Support Ju- That'd be great. You should support Justin Fields. No, no. He should not talk about Justin Fields. You don't get drafted with a pick that high and not think he's not going to play, Fred. So why even talk about that? You know what your role is. They didn't draft him in the in the 10th round, and maybe he might get a, a, a cup of coffee and a sweet roll with the Bears. He's going to play. His time is coming, All so right, you so, don't have to. You don't have to address that. All right, let me I'm here question. to play. Right, as long right. as they have me as a starting quarterback, right. I'm going to be ready every Sunday. Yeah. I'm going to give my all until they rip the uniform off me and throw me out of here. That's all I want to hear from Andy Dalton. He was asked a question about the reaction and fan reaction. Let me, Rob, let me ask you this: as a guy that's covered sports for many, many years, some have nicknamed you Methuselah. So, if Andy Dalton somehow, some way, gets behind center and leads the Bears, and they're six weeks in, this is highly improbable and highly unlikely. They're six weeks in, and they're undefeated. I mean, there's a train of thought that they'll lose their first game of the year. But let's say he does that. Are they going to turn around and go, okay, Justin Fields, on the job training? We've got a shot here. You get in there, and let's just see what happens. I don't buy that. I think he is an established NFL quarterback, and he does know how to play in the NFL. And if he can guide this team as far as he can, before he can't, he needs to play. I'm not all about this. Put Justin Fields in right now. I'm trying to win here. A coaching staff is trying to win. An organization is trying to put fans in the stands. A city wants them to win. We can take our time with Justin Fields. We're good here. Now, if Andy goes in and stinks up the joint, well, then you have your answer, don't you? But they wouldn't have signed the guy and paid him if they just thought he was a placeholder, even for a year. That position is too important. You're not just going to bring anybody in there, fail, and then go, all right, Justin, it's your turn. No, no. He's absolutely right in what he's saying. He wants the fans to embrace him. No, no, you don't. How are you going to embrace a guy if he's on the sidelines, Fred? You're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Wait a minute. Embrace what? Wait if a he's not on the field, I, I don't have, I'm not going to embrace a guy who's not playing. Okay, Bryce Young. That doesn't make any sense. Bryce Young went to school in Southern California. He's now the quarterback at Alabama. He sat on the bench last year. He didn't play. Mac Jones played. Bryce Young already has a million dollars in endorsements, and he hasn't played one second yet. So, yeah, you can embrace somebody who's not playing. Yeah, but but wait a minute. But he's on his way to being the star. He's not getting that because he's on the sidelines. He's going to be the starting quarterback at, at Alabama, and that's what comes with it. My point is fans don't embrace the backup quarterback unless the starting quarterback stinks. And we know, we've seen the Andy Dalton movie. It's not a pretty picture. Fred, we've seen it. Rob, he's, maybe, sto- he's stopgap. His maybe, name shouldn't be Dalton on the back. It should say stopgap. Because that's really what he is. Rob, maybe there's a rewrite on the movie. Maybe Get this me time rewrite. there's a rewrite. And you say you've never seen this before? Let me give you two words. Quarterback controversy. Of no, course but, you've seen this before. I'm talking about the idea that Andy Dalton's going to stick his chest out and tell everybody, it's my time in Chicago. Really? Really? Come on, Andy. You're at the end. You know what? Hey, he's long in the tooth, Fred, so long that he can brush his teeth without even opening his mouth. That's how long his tooth is. You know, you do not have to do that. You do not have to sit here and disparage a man who's losing his teeth. It's not necessary at his age. It's just not. I look at it the other way. Be proud. Stick out your chest. It's your job now. It is your job. Hold on to that job as long as you can. What are you going to do, Rob, if the Bears are 8-1 and one with Andy Dalton at quarterback? What are you going to do? He shouldn't say, yeah, I'm the guy. Right now, he's the guy. Didn't Until we see so that? otherwise. Didn't we see that with Fitzpatrick? 
right? You remember he got hot. He had a couple of games, but he always turns into a pumpkin. You know what you're going to get. Andy Dalton's not going to be 8-1, and one, Fred. You know it. The Bears know it. Everybody knows it in NFL America. It ain't going to happen. And if they are 8-1, and one, it's because their defense is over the top excellent. It won't have nothing to do with Andy Dalton. And my point is, he doesn't have to concede – I'm the starting quarterback as long as they tell me I am. I'm going to be ready every Sunday. I'm trying to win games for the Bears. And whatever they decide after that is fine with me. That That's a realistic uh, approach and take. Not, uh, kids, sit on the side, and when I'm done, I'll wait for you to come over. Because that ain't happening. Well, no, that's not going to happen. No, he's not going to wait for him to come over. They're going to send him out, Justin Fields, and push Andy Dalton off the field. No, so Andy's not waving him in. That won't happen. But I I really think in this scenario, you're overreacting just a little bit. And I I think it's a nuance. I think it's a question of semantics. It's fine. Andy Dalton did not disparage Justin Fields in his remarks. And I don't think any of our listeners will think he did. He did. He said, wait over there on the side. Hey, homie. Wait until I'm done, and then your time will come. He said his time is now. I don't his think his time sa- ain't now. I, I don't think. I don't think he said, "Hey, homie." <laughs> he didn't say, "Hey, homie, homie, don't play that." Yeah, right. I don't think he said that. <laughs> I'm just saying, and I think that our listeners will understand. There's a difference, and there's a nuance here between a guy who's got the job, a guy that's speaking out, guy that's fighting really for his NFL career and disparaging his teammate. I think there's a distinct difference, and Rob, I have to tell you, I think that our listeners are going to agree with me. 877 on Fox. I think they'll agree with me. I don't want to hear from Andy Dalton talking about it's his time. It ain't his time. He's on borrowed time is what he's on. Then he's still got time. <laughs> 